how to change a kill switch for the Toro Time Master. Here's where the kill switch goes. And if you run it down here, it's connected here to our personal pace uh, cord. Goes all the way down. It's actually tucked away in here. So they actually tuck it away just to keep it neat. And then it runs here. And we got to take this plate off. Now, how this occurred was uh, property I was cutting had a, a tilt trailer real small one and I went underneath of it and it must have got caught on here and I pushed and it popped this out uh, and when it did you can see when it popped that out uh, it, <clears throat> my engine was kind of uh, I guess idling up and down up and down I went to turn it off and that's when I realized this came out so as you've seen how I shut it off before, uh, there used to be a little metal piece in there that when you would touch it with a key, it would shut off. So I'm gonna get to this and I'll show you how I do it. So here's what I'm gonna be using. Uh, Ryobi impact driver. I'm gonna put it on speed one. And then I'm using a 7 16th uh, deep socket. Not necessarily for right here, but for at the top of the handlebar, you'll see that we'll need that. And then I'm using a 5 uh, 16th socket for right here. And then I'm going to need this to cut the old zip ties. I got three zip ties there. And obviously the uh, harness here for the kill switch. So I'm going to set you up and we're going to get started taking off this. There plate. is a bolt inside there for the ground wire. But I am not sure. Uh, how, how uh, big it is, but I started with the 11 millimeter socket. So here's your ground wire. Let me see if that is 5 sixteenths. And it is. You just gotta open these up. So it looks like you're gonna need a flathead too. <laughs> just the pop is open. So I guess these little tabs here catch this uh, rivet right here. So we have a zip tie here that we're gonna cut, and then we're gonna cut one up here. So let me do that, and then I'll bring you back. Got the zip ties cut. Now, as you can see, this thing freely, I can just pull it out of here. But I'm going to replace the whole housing, so we're going to take that off again. We're switching back to the 7 16 feet socket. And you don't need another tool because that's a hex bolt. So when we take the nut off, it shouldn't spin.
try to keep all of them intact here. There's a washer. So, let me grab the other heart. Let me get this zip tied and I'll bring you back. And you don't want to zip tie it too tight because this still has to move, as you can see. But I'm going to zip tie it to this one. And then we'll zip tie all, th then we'll zip tie all three of these through this hole. And I'll bring you back and show you that. So be right back. Okay, guys, as you can see, I zip tied them here and right here, right where they were. So whenever we slide this down, this one's still freely moving. All of them are in this loop, don't get put up through there. Down through here, and all of them are zip tied into here. Now, we're gonna put, we're gonna plug this in to here. Now we're going to go back around and put the ground wire on. Okay, got my 5 sixteenths back on. And we're going to put this. You do it by hand first. Now there's a flat end. You definitely want this to be on the flat end so it sits flush. If you put it like this, you're going to bend it. So, flat end against there. Have to crank it if you're using an uh, impact. Now I'm gonna do this just like my diller did. I'm gonna take this, all the excess, and I'm gonna put it back through here. Just like that, so it's nice and neat. So I tuck it back in. out of the way, nice and neat. Now we're gonna put this cover back on. And then we're gonna fire up uh, the, the engine and see if this works. All these different sockets, these adapters come in handy. So I get this lined up. Now just remember you do not have to use this, you can just use a regular socket. I just prefer to use that, it's a little quicker. Okay, so I'm going to fire this up.
you have it. Pretty simple fix. Uh, probably took about five minutes, but new switch. Zip tied it in the same place with the same two wires. Ran all the wires through here, hooked it up to here. All you gotta do is take this cover off. You have a, a 5 16 11 millimeter. And then this one, I just used a deep socket, but I do have to readjust that because that moved a little bit and I'll, I'll do that a little later. But I use the deep socket just in case of that. You don't need another wrench to hold that. So that's it for this one. That's how you uh, switch out a kill switch for Toro Time Master. I'll catch you guys on the next one.